Good day everyone! Today we're going to discuss a new topic, mathematical language and symbol. Basic concepts of relations and functions. What is a relation? Relations abound in daily life. People are related to each other in many ways. As parents and th children, teachers and students, employers and employees, and many others. A relation is a rule that relates values from a set of values called the domain to a second set of values called the range. A relation is also a set of order pair x and y. So, can you see a relation? Can in x, this is what we call the domain. And then, can you see y? Muni siya ang atuang range. So, for example, we have here set of ordered pairs. 1 and 2, 2 and 4, 3 and 6, 4 and 8, 5 and 10. Asa man ani si domain, asa man si range. So as what I have said a while ago, the domain is the set of all x values in the relation. Now looking back at the example, our set of ordered pairs, let's identify asa man sa ila ang ato ang mga domain. So our domains are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Ano siya ang atong mga x value. Now, the range is the set of all y values in the relation. So, kung si domain, mo siya si x. Kani si range, mo po ni siya si y. Now, using our example, ang katong ihatag, we will get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 as our range. Okay? So, this one, our set of ordered pairs, 1 and 2, 2 and 4, 3 and 6, 4 and 8, 5 and 10, maoday yun siya ang atong ginatawag na relation. Okay? Kung nasabtan, now let's move forward to function. So what is function? A function is a relation where each element in the domain is related to only one value in the range. The elements of the domain can be imagined as input to a machine that applies a rule so that each input corresponds to only one output. A function is a set of ordered pairs, x and y, such that no two ordered pairs have the same x value but different y values. So, ginapasabot lang ani niya na dapat daw kuno ang ato ang domain or ang atong x value is only related to only one value in the range. So, meaning... Wala yung mag-duple or magbalik-balik na x value na ito. Mag-repair dito sa ato ang range or y value. So, muna siyang explanation. Now, let's discuss on the things or the different ways of representing functions. So, natay yung upat the ways on how to represent a function. First one is by using table of values. So we have here x and y. Na ang value sa atong x is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So nakatable siya, no? y is equal to negative 10, negative 7, negative 4, negative 1, and 2. So check tayo yun kung function ba na siya o dili based sa atong data nga na sa atong table. So the next one is by using ordered pairs. So, we, we are already familiar with this one. Kaya yung gamit natin siya earlier sa ato ang relation. Okay? Kumuni siya, set of ordered pairs. Inani ang itura niya. Negative 2 and 10. Negative 1, negative 7. 0, negative 4, 1. And negative 1, 2 and 2. Next is by using graph. So, inani ang itura niya. Kung ato na na siyang i-graph. Later on, we will discuss how to identify a function by using graph. Then, na po tayo test nga ginagamit on how to identify 
whether the graph is a function or not. Okay? Then, the next one is by using equation. So, ang ating example, ang equation is a linear one. We have the y is equal to 3x minus 4. Okay? So, now let's identify functions by using set of ordered pairs. Okay, example number one. Relation F is equal to set of ordered pair 1, 2, 2 and 2, 3 and 5, 4 and 5. So, question, function ba ni siya o The answer there is function. Ano mang function man siya? Simply because our domain or our x value is related to only one value in the range. Or, makita ninyo, wala na gibalik-balik o paris dito sa range ang ato ang x value. Okay? Now, relation G is equal to set of ordered pairs 1 and 3, 1 and 4, 2 and 5, 2 and 6, 3 and 7. So, is this a function or not? The answer there is not a function. Why man? Ano mong dili man siya function? Tandaan ninyo ang 1 o ang 2. Ang atong x value ng 1 is related to 2 values in the range which is 3 and 4. So, mauna siya. Same thing para sa ato ang 2. Girelate ya punto ni siya to two values in the range which is 5 and 6. That is why this is not a function. Kaya sa kaito ang ato ang rule. Our domain is only related to one value sa ato ang range. Daro di madumduman kapila na kibalik balik di ba? Okay, so same thing here sa ato ang relation H. Set of ordered pairs, 1 and 3, 2 and 6, 3 and 9, so on and so forth. So, kung makita ninyo, wala agit na yung nag-repeat yan ka domain or wala siya ki, wala yung domain na ito nag-relate to 2 or 3 values sa atong y. So, this is a function. Okay? So, now, let's move forward by representing functions by using mapping diagram. What is mapping diagram? So, sa man ni siya, sir, sa may tsuraan niya. So, mga niya ang atong example number one. X value na ito, or atong domain, has unique output. So, kung sa man ni siya si output, mo ni siya atong range, or ang ato ang Y value. So, kung makita ninyo, tag sa tag sa ragit sila o partner. Si A, or si x value na ito, isarap po yun yung pares dito sa y value. Muni ang atong ginatawag na 1 is to 1. And this is a function. So, functions siya, ano ganito? Because the x value or the domain is related to only one value in the range. Muni, 1 is to 1. Next example here, observe this diagram. You can see that our domain A and C is related to only one range. So, question, sir, is this a function or not? The answer there is function. Ano man? Why is it a function? Because bahala o usara ka range ang relate sa ilaan mo ba, it's still na ang ato ang domain is related to only one so, bahala pag kana silang tanan, A, B, C, and D, ipares na yung dito sa 3, is still ang function. E nga naman, kaisa raman ka-domain ang ato ang key, relate to sa ato ang range. So, bahala ka na si range niya, nagan ka na siya, burikat ka na si range, nagan ka na siya pares, as taas lang si domain, consistent na siya, isa ragin ang hiyaan. So, may muna siyang function. And this diagram is what we call many is to one. Next one, here, observe, ang atong A, domain A is related to two values sa atong range. So, obviously, this is not a function. Why? Because 
si Dome na to duha na kabuok yang Paris sa range so na nangabit na si Dome so bawal na siya si Dome dili na siya pwede mangabit dapat isaragid na ang iya ha okay so before ta mag proceed ato sa ni siyang i-review when a mapping diagram or when a diagram is one is to one function na siya pag many is to one still a function and pag one is to many not a function okay so now let's move forward to identifying functions using a graph but first let's let's discuss how to identify so on sound on sound man siya sir how to identify if it is a function or not so we will use the vertical line test so what is vertical line test it is a graph it represents a function if and only if each vertical line intersects the graph at most one so so may boot pa sa boot ani so meaning kung napuno kay graph sa ato ang function atong relation pag drawing na ato siya vertical line and it only passes one point of intersection therefore it is a function okay now example Clearly, it has two point of intersection. This one here on the top, na puti ni sa bottom. So this is not a function. Okay. So now let's proceed to identifying functions by using equations. First one, we have a linear equation. So pag linear equation, always remember. That the graph of a linear equation is a straight line. So, if it's straight line, sha, we apply that on the graph. We will have only one point of intersection. So, therefore, it is a function. Number two, we have here a quadratic equation. Y is equal to x squared minus two x plus two. Now, if we apply this into the graph, the result ani niya is a parabola. So, pag butangan na nato siya of vertical line, ang result na is going to be one point of intersection. Therefore, it is a function. Now, this one, number 3, x squared minus y squared is equal to 1. So, note that ang matong y squared na siya. Pag isimplify natin ni siya, duha ng values at ang y. So, maitabuan na duha na ka point of intersection dayon pag applyan nato siya ng vertical line test dito sa atong graph so dili siya function kung i-observe ninyo gani ang kanang graph nato 
cross mana sya, ang ato ang x y axis mana sya, ang atang x axis the horizontal line, the y is the vertical line. So kung dublay na imong value sa imong y, therefore meaning ana niya, duha po ang imo ang point of intersection kung ato na na siyang applyan to vertical line test. That is why this is not a function. Number four, y is equal to square root of x plus 1. So this is a function, kay mo ito siyang reason, ato ni siyang i-apply dito sa graph, one point of intersection lang siya pag naka-vertical line test na. And then, example number 5, y is equal to 2x plus 1 over x minus 1. This is also a function. So, morang gabon doon siya, we put this into the graph and apply vertical line test and we will get one point of intersection. So, para ani niya, ang ato rin kimanan, kanilang yung atong y nga mag-squared. E, pag inana na gani, duha na dayo na siya yung value ng atong y. So, pili na dayo na siya.